Hey everybody, welcome back to another live stream. I hope you're all having a very pleasant Monday night. We've got a special Mystery Box Monday live stream for you today. It is Mystery Binders. They are $300 Mystery Binders. They're put together by Jay Simon. He's done a few mystery runs here in the past. Jay Simon Mystery Boxes, Jay Simon Redemption Series, and now Jay Simon Binders. So what we have here, it's really tough to kind of show you all at once, but I have stacks and stacks of binders. There's 14 binders all together, and each one I have hand-numbered from 1 to 14. So here I'm just going to show you the binders that they have all already been numbered. And then we're going to bring in the computer. We're going to run the randomizer, and it's going to give each person in this break a binder. Numbered from 1 to 6, really. I mean, there's 12, here's 13... Here is 14. Just ignore that messy stack of Alan and Ginter packs over there. So basically what I'll do is I'll have a list of six people's names. Let me just pull all these out. I'm just showing you that they've all, all been pre-numbered. Two, three. It's tough to see that three, but it's on there. See, Sparks, says these binders look good. There's 360 cards in each binder. There's a lot of parallels. There's, um, I don't know if there's any chase cards or not. But Jason said he was trying to get the value to be around $360 on average a piece. So here we go. Let's go ahead and bring in the computer here. And let's run the randomizer and start going through these. So we're going to go to random.org. We're going to go to the list randomizer. Travis Gunther just grabbed one. So Travis, thank you very much. We'll add you to the list. Travis Gunther. All right. So we have uh, these other spots here. There's uh, so there's 14 binders. It's half sold. The other seven spots, I'm just going to call open one, open two, open three, open four. And that number will be the order that the payments come in. So if you're the first payment to come in after we randomize, you'll get open one. If you're the second payment to come in, you'll get the open spot number two and so on until all seven are gone. If they're all gone, if not, um, you know, those will be left over. And then I'll take a look through them and maybe uh, see what Jason wants to do with them. Maybe he wants me to, you know sell them off uh, one by one in an auction or whatever. But here we go. Let's go ahead and copy and paste all these right now. We've got these names from Philip DeLeo down to open spot number seven. There's our seven participants tonight. We've got Richard Sasko. Who's got, he's got two spots, but one of those is for Steve. So we got to put Steve's name on one of those as well. So we got Philip, Omar, Richard, Steve, Daniel, Philip, and Travis, who just paid and then seven open spots that are still available. Let's go ahead and randomize those right now and see what's going to happen here. So here is the outcome. Philip Ward is going to have the first box or the first mystery binder. Richard Sasko has got the second. Travis Gunther has the third. Daniel Tazi the fourth. Philip DeLeo will have the fifth. The sixth one is open seven. That means the seventh and final payment to come in will get the sixth binder. Richard slash Steve Sasko gets Steve Sasko. It's the seventh one. Open six, open three, open four. Omar Garza, 11, open five. Open one is number 13. So whoever's the next payment in will get spot number 13. And then open two is the last spot. The second payment in gets the very last binder in this run, numbered 14. So I'll take this list here. I'll copy this and put this over here so that I can work off of that list. So Philip Wart has the very first binder. I'm going to go ahead and bring that on the stage right now. And we're going to also go ahead, just to make things easy around here, Philip, we're going to write your name on this binder so there's no confusion as to that this is yours. All right, Philip, let's see. We have binder number one. Is there going to be any big hits in here? Any crazy surprises? Probably lots of parallels. So we start off with a whole bunch of Bowman Chrome top prospects from the top 100. You see Jackson Holiday on there, Marcelo Mayer, and who else? we got Grayson Rodriguez, Anthony Volpe. There's actually two. Jackson Holidays. We've got more of the top 100 names there amongst the prospects from the MLB pipeline. Next up, more Bowman Chrome inserts as well. We've got Bowman Chrome Sights on September inserts in there along with Jordan Walker and Tyler Soderstrom. And there's more Bowman Chrome inserts here as well. Hopefully this is framed good enough so that you all can see all 18 cards as they're all opened up here in front of us. We Good have, so that you, whoops, I'm checking the uh, checking the, on my laptop. Yeah, we can see it all there. Maybe that last card can maybe, I don't know, be brought in a little bit. But we've got the Rookie of the Year favorites cards with 
Brett Beatty and Vaughn Grissom and Omar or Gabriel Moreno. Jackson Holiday over here with the prospects. Whole bunch of Bowman. Now we find an autograph popping out here. It's going to be a Gregory Polanco. Looks like a Bowman Platinum autograph. Patch auto right there. We've got a whole bunch more prospects here. And then first Bowman's all around on this other side from 2023. More autos and relics. Clayton Kershaw's in the middle there. Another Gregory Polanco. It's a rookie Gregory Polanco. And then we have first Bowman's encircling all the hits there from 2023. More first Bowman's. These are all from Chrome. We've got Nick Senzel and an autograph of Hans Krauss there also. Lots of prospects on these pages. Next up, we've got Colton Kowser right there. These are more Bowman Chrome hits from 2023. Next page, there's autographs sprinkled throughout. These look like they're going to be the um, silver foil cards all around. We've got Stephen Kwan Bowman Chrome rookie card in the middle. And we've also got Christian Javier. Nice blue auto right there in the middle of that page. Next, we go into 2022 update. We have a whole bunch of rookies here. Hunter Green, Seiya Suzuki's. George Kirby, Bryson Stotts. And then we got a lot of purples from 2021. Tops Chrome Update. Some Jared Kelnick rookie cards. There's three of them. Purple Parallels. And 18 of them all together. Next page from Gallery. You got Spencer Strider rookie cards right there. TJ Friedel. A lot of rookie cards in the mix there. There's an Adley Rushman rookie card. Three Randy Rosarenas along the top. And we've got an Eddie's Leonard autograph. It's his first Bowman auto. It's a purple numbered to looks like 150 right there. We've got some Royal Blues, Shane Boz, rookie card. Hey, there's my daughter, Olivia. Hey, Livy. How was your day today? Hope you had a great Monday. we got Leo Piguera right there. Gold foil. Some more gold cards there. Big day tomorrow. Can't wait. We've got to play some basketball tomorrow, Livy. Me... Me and Emmy Lou against you, Elsa, and EJ. We'll see who takes the uh, the Jabs family daily basketball game. We always play basketball as we're waiting for the bus and all the other kids to get off. Don Blondahl's in the house. Man, 51 months. That is an uh, all-time record. He's number one on the seniority list. He says, greetings, Eric, and all in the chat. Checking in for 51 months and counting. Had a wonderful time in Cooperstown a few weeks ago. The binders are looking thumbs up. So Don Blomdahl, thank you very much. Check his channel out. He goes live every single day. Has lots of baseball card content there. Thanks, Don. Got Kiebert Ruiz right there. More purple parallels. More purple parallels. Dylan Carlson rookie cards in here as well. Vladdy prospect card from 2018 is a nice card right there. More purple parallels. Shea Langoliers relic ninja hello and then we've got some what is this 2019 big league it looks like with michael kopech a rookie card on that page jeff mcneil from 2019 and look at this hide your eyes livy don't look at this one we've got the bill ripkin obscenity card with a bad word on it you snail diaz numbered to 499 rookie card and here it is the billy ripkin error card it does say should i zoom in folks if you have kids cover their eyes has a bad word on the bat knob right there. So you are now the proud owner of the obscenity card. Billy Ripken, F-face card. And look at all those Drew Jones on the back. A whole page of Drew Jones, and they're all... Um, we got four chromes, four papers, and a numbered purple right there for Philip Wirt. So the first binder is in the books. Put this one off to the side, and coming up next, it's binder number two. We go to the randomizer. This one was for Richard Sasko. So we'll put your name on this one, Richard. Richard and Steve Sasko. Let's see what Richard can find in his binder right now. Mystery binder number two. Hey, we've got some Topps Chrome leading things off. Corbin Carroll, rookie card. And Yoshida in there as well. Nice first page. I love Topps Chrome. Gunnar Henderson, rookie card in there as well. All right, Livy, good night. I hope you sleep well and I love you. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow, right when I get home. Michael Harris, rookie card right there. Can't wait to go out to eat, too. I love going out to eat with you guys. We got to eat every single Tuesday. And there, I think that every single, like, we go out to eat a bunch of times a week, actually. Because uh, Dad can't cook that well. We've got Adley Rushman right there with Anthony Volpe as well. Some nice rookies in here. And they're surrounded by other rookies from Chrome. Vaughn Grissom, rookie card. And Spencer Steer rookie card right there as well. Lots of Chrome rookies all around there. There's Oswald Parasa Sepia rookie card. Oswald Parasa Prism Refractor rookie card. 
And now we get into Platinum Anniversary, it looks like. Shea Langoliers, Sepia. We've got a whole bunch of Platinum Anniversaries all around here. All rookie cards. And now we get into Parallels. A whole bunch of Prism Refractors on this page. We've got a whole bunch of Golds right here on this page. with the Technicolor card right there. Thanks, Lori. I'm lucky to have four awesome kids. They're just the best kids in the world. Very lucky to have the best kids. And, uh, man, they get along so well together, too. I, I, I wish I could feature them more in my videos, but I just feel like, I don't know. We've got Spencer Torkelson right there. A whole page of his rookie card right there. A whole bunch of those. Stars of MLB rookie cards. Bobby Witt Jr., a whole page. Jeremy Pena, a whole page as well. All rookies there. Next, we've got a whole page of O'Neill Cruz and a whole page of Gunnar Henderson and Adley Rushman rookie cards. Well, I guess it's maybe like two-thirds of a page. Here's some Titan cards down at the bottom. But Gunnar Henderson, and those are all Topps Chrome rookies. Very nice right there. Michael Harris and Vaughn Grissom rookie cards with a Technicolor Michael Harris in the middle, number 299. We've got some purple prisms around here with Adolfo Castro right smack dab in the middle. We've got some more purple prisms. We've got some of the white prisms. These are all prism parallels on these pages. Next, we get a Christopher Paciola, Red Auto. How do I think the Pirates will do next year? I think they'll be a little over 500, if I had to guess right now. Made like a, what, 15-game improvement this year? I think they'll improve some more, especially with O'Neill Cruz back for a full season. They didn't have him for almost the entire year. Here's a bunch of rookies and different printer-proof parallels from Gallery on these pages. On this page, we've got a Simone Muziati. And there's Mookie Betts Refractor right there with more Printer Proof cards. Hunter Green, Future Star card. We've got the Bomb Squad inserts on these pages. We've got those 1988 Topps Big cards there. The White Sox Thompson's Rangers might go undefeated in the playoffs, man. Yeah, they might. Oh, man, look at this. Adley Rushman Prism Refractor rookie card. That is a sweet card right there. And you got J Rod rookies all around it, too. Nice stuff right there on that page. you got some more prospects from Bowman there. More prospect first Bowmans on these pages. There's a vintage stock, Javi Baez, number 299. On this page, we got a Wander Franco and a Frankie Alvarez. Those are going to be the manufactured patches. Next up, we got some more Bowman Chrome first on these pages. Bryce Harper, a whole page of him. He might be a hot name if he can get the, you know, get the Phillies into the World Series and go off. And last but not least, we oh, there's a booklet in here. Look at that. There's a booklet at the end. Kiwi says, nice paintings sent to you, Jabs. Yeah, Ike does great work. There he is, by the way. Ike's Art Studio. Go to Ike's Art Studio. Buy a print. Buy a painting. Um, he's got a bunch of different stuff um, for different prices um, to fit your budget. Just uh, He does great work, so give him some support. Fraley Encarnacion, out of 99, auto. Some Volpes right there. And a Shane Boz booklet from Absolute. Here's the back. It's numbered to 99. So a booklet hiding out there at the very end for Mr. Richard Sasco. So thank you very much, Richard. Put that binder over there. And binder number three coming up next is for Travis Gunther. So Travis, I can still kind of see your name as I write it on here. Let's see what we can find. Kiwi says, I'd love to see you do a series for Topps. Yeah, wouldn't it be great to get Ike into a baseball card set? Like, Topps Gallery, I think they might have done away with Topps Gallery, but, man, Ike would be the perfect artist for Topps to hire to do artistic paintings. He could be this generation's Dick Perez. So you might want to get one of those paintings before uh, I, he blows up because I, I he's going to get discovered. And uh, he loves baseball so much, it only makes sense that he would be the next big baseball card painter. There's Ronzi Contreras Purple, and we've got some of the on-fire inserts from Topps Fire right there. Jason's finally catching live. Well, welcome. Thank you for being here. We've got more Topps Fire inserts on these pages for Travis. We've got some 2022 Chrome. Looks like a bunch of Prism Refractors on these pages with a couple numbered cards in the middle. C Sparks says, I'd love to see Jabs get an influencer weirdo card in Allen and Ginter. I would love that, man. I'll tell you what, if I ever get an influencer weirdo card, you can bet your bottom dollar that we're going to be ripping tons of those cases until I can pull that card. Now, those influencer cards are like, aren't they short prints? I guess in big league, they're short prints. The weirdo cards are not in Allen and Ginter. They should, I think they should just do a whole YouTuber set in Allen and Ginter. Like, put Fuzzy in there, put Dodger Films in there, put Giraffe Neck Mark in there, uh, put Zach Campbell in there, put... Uh, Jeff Wilson in there. And heck, if you want to ask me, I would love to be in there as well. Here's all of these. Next page is Bobby Witt Jr. on these pages. 
We've got O'Neill Cruises on these pages. A bunch of his rookie cards. <clears throat> and we've got an autograph. Mauricio Dubon right there. Jonathan India rookie cards. Tyler Stevenson rookies. Jason Dominguez up here. Brady House. A bunch of prospects. And hey, I think I see a booklet peeking out here at the bottom. We've got more rookie cards all around here. And Spencer Striders. A whole page of Spencer Striders with a nice out of 76. Really nice card right there. Clayton Kershaw right there. We'll flip the page. We've got Jonathan Aranda out of 175 pink and a whole bunch of numbered parallels on these pages and these pages as well. We've got a winner parallel of Jose Ramirez with some gold cards. We've got a whole TJ Friedel. Now, TJ Friedel is actually a decent player. We're kind of getting on him a little bit because he wasn't that good when he was, all his autographs were in 2022, but he's really turned into a great player for the Reds. Brian Bayo, Page right there, Kyle Muller, Red. Bobby Dalbeck with a bunch of Tristan Casas rookie cards. There's Jordy rookie card. What are your thoughts about Jeff Wilson opening a shop in Atlanta? I don't know much about the shop. I don't have any of the details about it. I just heard about it, but I'll tell you what. I'm going to go down and visit him, and I'm going to do video there because, man, that would be pretty awesome. Kiwi says, you crossed 70 million views. Thanks, man. That, uh, that is crazy stuff. I Thanks all you guys for watching. I really appreciate that. There's Frenchy Cordero, first auto. Gabriel Martinez, mojo auto there as well. Dan Tazi has a question. Ike, have you ever done a Billy Ripken or Machado painting? So that would be uh, that'd be pretty cool. We've got Luis Frias right there and Otto Lopez. That's a red. Probably number to five on that Otto Lopez rookie card. Gunnar Henderson is in there as well. Yeah, go over to Ike's Art Studio. Check out his gallery. See if there's something you want to buy there. Colton Kowser right there. A whole bunch of firsts on these pages. Ellie De La Cruz prospect card. A lot of prospects and first Bowman's in here. There's a green Michael Taylor to 99. Got some first editions, Reed Trimble and Grayson Rodriguez with a bunch more first Bowman cards. Edward Julian is a nice one. He had a nice season for the Twins this year. A bunch of stars on this page. Shoei Otani, Bryce Harper's, some more gold parallels on these pages as well. C Sparks says, if you go to Atlanta, I'd love to come up and meet you. I'd be just south of the world. We'll do a box for Hey, that sounds good, man. I haven't been to Atlanta for a few years now. It's probably been five, six years. Last time I was there, the old Turner Field was still standing. And I'd like to get down there again. It's a, it's a, I think it's a nice area. It's a nice town. I'd love to check out Jeff Wilson's store and then go to a Braves game at the new ballparks. I haven't been to SunTrust, or I guess now they're calling it Truist Park. Now I'd love to check it out. I hear it's pretty awesome. Here's more parallels on these pages, more parallels. We've got the Royal Blues right here, Corbin Carroll rookie card. More par He just put a ton of parallels and rookies in these binders. More parallels. And more parallels and chrome insert cards from 87. And at the back end, we get another booklet. We get MJ Melendez Rookie Auto right there, which is a sweet card. A bunch of numbered parallels all around. And this is going to be Juan Yepes. It's another booklet, and this one is numbered 230. So Juan Yepes booklet at the back end stuck in there for Travis Gunther. Spot number three. Travis, thank you very much. Spot number four coming up. The randomizer spit out the name of Daniel Tazi on this one. So Daniel Tazi, we'll put your name on this. And there's still, what, six, seven, eight binders left? Seven binders left if you want to grab a binder. We still have seven spots left available. And I'll just go ahead and add them in as we go along. Um, the first binder that will be sold by the randomizer is binder number, what was it, 13? All right, Daniel Tazi's up right now. Let's see what we can do for DT right here. Just going to log into my PayPal in case another payment comes in. I don't want to miss it. We've got the Titans Chrome insert cards right here to start us off. By the way, we'll be live again tomorrow for Team Break Tuesday if you'd like to check that out. And we've got a bunch of 88 Tops Chrome cards right here. Very, very nice stuff. I love that set. That's a sweet looking set. Look at all these sepia inserts. Sweet. Yeah, Alan and Ginter was great this year. I had fun opening Alan and Ginter. I still have some cases of it. There's four up there. I've got, it looks like, six six cases left of it. Out of, I think I ordered, like, 20 of it. And we have six left. There's Matt Olson, number two, 350. Now, we didn't rip, like, 14 cases. A lot of those cases, I busted them open, put a bunch of packs in Patreon packages. Mookie Betts out of 399 pink. Michael Harris, rookie card pink. Lots of pinks on those pages. Ross, with a members-only super chat. Thanks, Ross says, Giants blew the game again. All New York teams having a bad year. Yeah, terrible stuff from New York. The Mets and Yankees both finishing in fourth place out of five teams in their divisions. There's Michael Harris, Bobby Witt. Combined, those teams had over $500 million of payroll, and they couldn't even get above fourth place. Pathetic. 
man, really, really bad stuff, especially from the Mets. $375 million payroll, biggest payroll in the majors, and could not... They almost came in last place. The Nationals came within a game and a half of beating them at one point near the end of the season. There's Clayton Kershaw. That's a nice Lava Flow card right there. Ninja says, how do you feel about Ethan Salas and collecting him? He's a very young prospect, but a promising prospect. He's the number one guy in Bowman Chrome this year, and we pulled his, his first Bowman out of five. Crazy pull in the Patreon-only live stream. It was nuts. Um, probably worth at least a grand. Bunch of Bowen Platinum rookies on these pages. Whole bunch of those. And we've got some of the the Diamond Gems inserts from Topps Chrome on those pages. Here's a lot of Prism Refractors, and there's some good ones here. Actually, these are X-Fractors. We've got Mike Trout on that page. There's Juan Soto over there. Max Scherzer. Some nice names on those. Clayton Kershaw. <coughs> we got the Future Star insert cards there, along with Technicolor. There's Gunnar Henderson up there, which is a very nice card. A bunch of Bowman chrome prospects including kumar rocker who i think was the number three overall pick in the draft this past year justin crawford one of the top names in the bowman flagship set this year for the phillies more first bowmans there as well and more bowman prospect cards on these pages kyle harrison was a first round pick over there on the bottom left zach netto made a mark in the big leagues for the angels this year there's edward julian first bowman cam collier top five prospect in flagship bowman it's got his name on the side of the box. It says, like, look for Cam Collier autographs, I think, on one of those Bowman boxes, maybe the blaster. We've got Alex McFarlane right there. That's the first Bowman auto, number to 499. Bunch more first Bowmans. Hey, Jonathan. Doing pretty well tonight. Having a you know, pretty chill evening around here. I started boxing up some of the hats from the Lids video from last week. Just had to try to find boxes for them all. But those are going out soon. Got about half of them shipped. Trying to get the other half shipped tomorrow. There's Jeremy Pena, Prism Refractor. All the Team Break Tuesday stuff, by the way, from last week, that's all in the mail now. Got all that out just in time. We'll be live tomorrow with Team Break Tuesday. Lots of update. We'll be breaking blaster boxes for 2023 Tops Update. J-Rod rookie card right there. Jesse Winker. We also have Jumbo Rounds, Hobby Rounds. We've got an Immaculate Round that we're trying to fill. Pristine Bowman. Oh, man, look at that. I like that card a lot. Gunnar Henderson. That is a sweet Sweet parallel right there. That's the X-Fractor Gunner Henderson. You also get Brett Beatty on that page along with Tristan Casas. Christopher Morell. Some nice ones right there on those pages. We've got Prism Refractors on this side over here. Love the Bowman, or not the Bowman, but the Topps Chrome Autos. In the last page, we got a Ronald Acuna Jr. right there. Hey, that's a $20 buyback card once he wins the MVP. Matt Olson's as well. He gave you six of those just in case. Matt Olson sneaks in there and wins the MVP. Not going to happen. Matt Olson will probably be... Uh, maybe top three finisher with those 55 home runs, but Ronald Acuna was so good that I think he's got it wrapped up. So, Daniel Tossi, thank you very much. We wrap up your binder right there. We move on to the next one. The randomizer spit out the name Philip DeLeo for spot number five. So, Philip DeLeo, get your name put on binder number five here, and we'll see what we can find. Hopefully, it's going to be some great stuff. And by the way, I met... Uh, I met a seller at Sheets tonight. I went to New Stanton and Sheets, met the halfway point. I met Dante, who's a seller. Uh, he lives in Uniontown, Pennsylvania, and he was set up at the card show this past week, and he had a whole bunch of stuff. He's like, hey, you, uh, would you want to do a consignment with me and sell all my all my stuff, all my relics, and all my autographs? I was like, sure, whatever you got, I'll take it and sell it. So picked up like three 3,000 count boxes filled. So we got like, I don't know if it's 9,000 autos and relics because a lot of them are top loaded up and thicker, but there's probably a few thousand autos and relics that we're going to be auctioning off on Thursday night. And it's probably going to be a two-nighter because I don't know if, if I can get them, all, get them all done in uh, just a few hours on Thursday night. So check that out on Thursday. We'll try to go live on Thursday, maybe around eight or so, so we can have as much time as possible because as you know, I like to go to bed by like 11 on a school night. We got metallic snowflake cards right here in this next binder. Here we go for Philip DeLeo. Bunch of, looks like these are going to be refractors on these pages. Some numbered cards over here on these ones as well. And some Ben Baller cards in there. There's a Pujols, Albert Pujols, game use jersey card, Austin Riley rookie card, Vladimir Guerrero. Those are tops update rookies. There's a nice gold rookie of Ryan Helsley, all star, former all star right there. Andre Jimenez, some good rookie cards. Royal Blues on these pages. Are there any players that I'm currently collecting? I don't really collect players. Like, if they're not rookie cards, I like them, but I don't really collect certain players. I collect mostly rookie cards. And uh, right now, I'm kind of going after like PSA 10 gold rookies of like top names. That's kind of what I like. <laughs> Steve says, no shady gas station exchange. That's exactly what it was a shady gas station exchange. Uh, but Sheets, that's, that's probably one of the nicer places in New Stanton that Sheets, brand new. They just 
build it. They tore down the old one for no reason. Build a brand new one on its place. Look at all these parallels right here. We've got J-Rod rookie cards on these pages with the Bo Bichette team color match blue in the middle. Bobby Witt Jr. gold cup cards on these. And a whole bunch of nice gold foils over there. I also like vintage Hall of Famers as well. So like, if I see like a nice Reggie Jackson like 1970 Topps card or something like that, I'll buy it if it's a good price. Vinny Pasquantino rookie cards there. Bobby Witt Jr. There's a Jeremy Pena page there as well. We've got Jeter Downs along with Oswald Peraza rookie cards on those pages. There's a Brett Beatty rookie page with a whole bunch of foil, silver foil cards on the left side. And then we get into some more prospects here. Some first Bowmans. A Junior Garcia out of 299. First Bowman speckle right there. We got some Ray Waves right there from your good old Topps Chrome light boxes. And there's a couple, uh, looks like maybe Chronicles rookie cards there. Hey, Tristan Casas' page is a nice one, including his gold foil rookie card and Anthony Volpe rookies there. And a prospect card there. Got Oswald Peraza at the top and bottom of those pages. Next page up, if you like Bowman Platinum, those are 2022 Bowman Platinum cards. You're going to see a lot of nice rookies there, like George Kirby, Jeremy Pena, Cal Rowley, Spencer Torkelson, Bryson Stott. Royce Lewis had a big playoff series. O'Neill Cruz there as well. Jake Berger, rookie card. He had like 30-some home runs this year. Josh Donaldson out of 99 there in the middle. We may have seen the end of Josh Donaldson. We'll see if he catches on on maybe a minor league contract with somebody to work his way back in the majors or not. Next year, there's Spencer Torkelson, rookie card. We've got an Evan White rookie right there. It's his rookie auto and prospect auto. There's Gunnar Henderson. Corbin Carroll. Always nice to see Corbin Carroll's in here. Another Gunnar Henderson right there. Ross says, no more Donaldson. Nobody wants to see Donaldson anymore. Nice page of Astros all around on these pages. A bunch of Mojos, Nolan Ryan, and Jordan Alvarez, and Justin Verlanders. We've got the, looks like, greatest hits on these pages right here. Jenks, yeah, definitely a great time to sell Nick Castellanos right now. His value is probably never going to be higher, especially after that last series where he had, like, back-to-back multi-homer games. Casey Mize, Prism Refractor Rookie Card is a sweet one. He'll be back from Tommy John surgery next year. We've got Randy Rose Reyna. That is a refractor rookie card right there, which is a great one. And we've got Vaughn Grissoms on these pages, along with some other rookies. Oscar Gonzalez, whole page of him. Stephen Kwan in the middle gold cup card. We've got Connor Wong from Crapstone. And some Shades of Greatness insert cards there. And looks like some maybe gold parallels on these pages. Over here, we've got a Daniel Lynch. Looks like a rookie patch auto with Jordan Lawler. Nice one right there. He's in the big leagues now. Henry Davis on these pages. Jackson Holiday right there on the sides. Probably your rookie of the year next year. He's, I think he's going to be in the big leagues next year. He should be. The way he tore up minor league pitching this year. Riley Green's the whole way around on this page. And then over here we have Adley Rushman, Corbin Carroll. We've got Christopher Morrell, James Altman, Tristan Casas up there. Very nice pages right there. Bobby Dalbeck, nice Pro debut, minor league autograph right there. I like pro debut. That's coming out this week, I think. So we'll have the 2023 version to show you. Later this week, there's Corbin Carroll, rookie card. Josh Young, rookie cards right there. Bobby Witt Jr., Josh Young, rookie patch. From a blaster box, Michael Harris, rookie card as well. William Contreras, Silver Pack Mojo, Jared Kelnick, rookie card. Teoscar Hernandez from 2017 Bowman. We go and find a nice triple auto there. That's actually that's Dylan Cousins. I think he might have gone overseas to Japan. That's out of 99. And the last page, it's going to have a Graham Ashcraft out of 250 with a bunch of Bowman Platinum rookie cards, including Spencer Torkelson, J. Rod, Jeremy Pena, O'Neill Cruz, Say Suzuki, etc. For Philip. So, Philip, thank you very much. Binder number six is unsold. So, we'll skip binder six and go to binder number seven. Here's binder number seven. If you'd like to send in a payment, the first uh, binder that came up for the randomizer payment number one will be binder number 13 is that gonna be lucky number 13 i don't know we'll see here we go with the next one binder number seven this one by the randomizer was randomized to go to steve sasco so steve sasco i think that's pops pop sasco let's see what you can do in yours you have a shoyo tawny 87 mojo there in the middle with rookie cards all around it to get started, Bobby Witt Jr., nice blue. That's a Monster Box exclusive from Heritage. A blue speckle. And J.J. Blade, rookie auto from a Silver Pack over there. Sweet cards. And a whole bunch of Silver Pack cards in 1987 from 2022 tops. George Kirby, rookie card is one of them. Next up, another Monster Box parallel. It's going to be Stephen Kwan along with some more Silver Pack cards. How many binders? 14 binders total. Seven are sold 
After this one, we only have one more to show you, and then we'll see if anybody else wants one, and then the other ones, we will, you know, talk to Jason on what do you want, what do you want to do with them. Do you want me to take these cards out individually and sell them? Yeah, some Mercedes. But if you want to grab another binder, you can. And uh, next, first binder that sells will be binder 13. Second binder that sells will be binder number 14, and so on. Chad Patrick, nice Bowman Auto, autograph right there. Jackson Holiday, O'Neill Cruises, or Sixto Sanchez out of 99. We've got Anthony Volpe all around on these pages. It's a whole Volpe rookie card page with a nice, looks like mini diamond parallel in the middle. Oswaldo Cabrera rookie cards on those pages. And here's your Sapphire for those of you who like Sapphire. Very great set. Love the Sapphire cards. Bryce Harper, Clayton Kershaw on those pages. More Sapphire cards with a Stephen Ridings exclusive blue speckle from Heritage Monster Boxes. There's a Royal Blue Parallel of Hunter Green's rookie card. And then we've got some 2020 Tops rookies encircling that. Jordan Alvarez 2019 Bowman Chrome rookie is a nice one or prospect card. And then a whole bunch of stars of MLB, including Corbin Carroll and other notable rookies on those pages like Tristan Casas. Next, we've got Topps Holiday, which should be coming out soon. I actually think I'm going to have my Topps Holiday boxes next week. I pre-ordered them, and it looked it said will be like shipped or delivered, and it said October something. So that's exciting. I like Topps Holiday metallic snowflake parallels right there. Bobby Witt right there, 1988 Topps cards on these pages. We got first Bowman's on these pages also. There's Edward Julian Bowman Chrome up there. Next page up, more Bowman firsts. We've got Riley Greens on these pages. Jeremy Pena, Bowman Chrome rookie card. Chris Paddock, X-Fractors in the middle. Jordan Lawler, prospect card there. Jackson Holiday right there. And a whole bunch of Tristan Casas cards. Jonathan Hunter says, how much does the Carlton Fisk autograph card go for? I'd guess 50 bucks, but go ahead over on eBay. Go to Recently Sold and see what your exact card is going for. Aaron Ashby, pink, rookie, numbered. And there's a Corbin Carroll right there in the middle with Future Star, C.J. Abrams all around. Jordan Lawler out of $3.99 on the Lava. And then there's a 30-30 club right there, insert series, along with a whole bunch of those one-two punch cards. Yeah, Ross, uh, they're on Walmart. This is where I got it from, walmart.com. If you want to grab those, I don't know if they're still available. I bought mine like a week ago. Um, there's Adley Rushman and Gunnar Henderson rookie cards. From the Rookie of the Year Favorite Series, we've got Bryce Harper, the 2022 Greatest Hits cards, the All Aces cards there as well. There's a Beam Team, Fernando Tatis Jr. there also. We've got Bobby Witt Jr., nice Gold Cup rookie cards, Ellie De La Cruz prospect card, Drew Jones over there, Pasquantino rookies. And then we get to the Bowman Platinum cards, the Elemental um, Insert Series right there with top prospects, also the Rookie Series. And we've got a whole J-Rod page right there, along with a more Bowman Platinum, Joe Rock. There are also more rookies from Bowman Platinum from 2022. And the last page features, hey, that's a great auto there. It's a Jordan Lawler. Bowman Sterling autograph with a whole bunch of parallels all around this one. So that binder is for Steve Sasko. Steve, thank you very much. Looks like we've got one more binder to go here on this Monday night. Unless anyone else grabs a binder, we do have some more available. And this last binder by the randomizer was binder number 11. So this one is for Omar Garza. Let's get Omar's name on this one. And we'll see what we can find for Omar here. A little packing peanut in there at the bottom. All right, Omar, let's see what we got. Hey, Mike Trout starts us off. A whole page of Mike Trout cards, 2021s. Fire and those uh, 1965s. Those were, I think, from 2021 update. Those were insert cards. Next, we got more. Wow, that's a whole lot of trout to get us started. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something with whole binders, Mike Trout cards? Very nice. What is going on? So we have uh, 1836, 45 Mike Trout cards all ready to get us started. And there's some parallels here as well. We have a prism refractor right there and a gold with Otani on it. Man, whoa, what is this? There's uh, some little secrets in these binders, it looks like. And this is the Trout binder. That's crazy. Man, this is, uh, this is pretty awesome right here. There's a Trout blue. How long is this going to keep going for? Is the whole binder Trouts? It could be. I don't know. I haven't, I, I haven't looked through these binders yet. I took one out and looked through it. And, man, I, there's more binders now. <laughs> the streak is broken with a Cedric Mullins rookie card in there from 2019 Big League. But there's more Mike Trouts. That is, uh, I'll tell you what, 
Omar, you could probably take these trouts out and sell them in collections of like 20 card lots for decent money. Daniel says, I want an, an Orioles binder. C Spark says, I need an Otani binder. We got more trouts right there. Maybe I'll take a peek in some of these other binders to see if there is an Otani binder. I don't know if uh, Jay Simon's in the chat right now to let us know what else is still out there that hasn't been found yet. But I could take a look through some of these binders and, and give you kind of a preview. I can't believe these are all freaking trout cards. That's pretty awesome right there. The entire freaking binder. So far, Kiwi says, we need a CJ Stroud binder. There's more, more trouts. Every now and then he mixes a nice card or two, like there's a parallel of Hunter Green. Wouldn't that be something if there's an Otani binder? Man, that binder would be worth a whole bunch. There's an Otani right there, World Baseball Classic card. Another Otani. Hey, look at this. We transitioned into Otanis. Oh, man. So you wanted an Otani binder, and you got it. A Trout slash Otani binder. Here they come. It's the Otani cards. What an awesome collection, man. I'll tell you what, in auctions, whenever you do Otani lots, they go for big money. And Daniel says uh, there's going to be a Trout rookie at the end. That would be crazy. A Trout rookie, that card alone, raw, is worth at least $300. This PSA 9 goes for about $450. PSA 10 for about $9 to $980. More Otani's, including a green parallel right there. I'll tell you what, you looked out, looked out on this one, Omar. This is pretty awesome. I, look at that. There's a $20 card right there. You can take that to the card shop and redeem it for $20. Bucks. The 2023 Chrome, there's a gold. Raphael says, that's the only guy I collect. You might want to hit up You might want to hit up Omar Garza. There's the infamous fake rookie card of Shoei Otani. That's a 2019 Tops 1984 design. It wasn't even his rookie card. They accidentally put that rookie logo on there. They never corrected it. When the first came out, that was selling for big bucks. But everyone realized, oh, it's just kind of a common. Just, uh, you know, uncorrected errors aren't really worth anything. Error cards only get valuable if they're corrected, and then people go after the errors. More Otani cards here. What a nice way to finish this one off. Again, we still have more binders. Looks like we got a Tatis rookie card right there. We're going to transition to some other stars. So it's mostly, uh, not Judge, but mostly Trout and Otani. Tawny. Now we're getting the Tatis and Judge on these pages. And we get into some other stars. We've got an Astros page there of Jeremy Pena, Hunter Brown. We've got Jordan Alvarez page right there, including his rookie card. We've got an O'Neill Cruz rookie card page there. We've got Corbin Carroll. I love that Chrome rookie of Corbin Carroll. That's probably my favorite Chrome card from that set, either that one or the Adley Rushman. And man, speaking of, this is a great binder. Michael Harris, Will Your Abreu, first Bowman Chrome Auto. Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card from Update and a whole bunch of Gunnar Hendersons. This binder has been uh, just absolutely blown it out of the water. Look at all those Adley Rushman rookie cards. Over here, we've got Silver Foils with Luke Williams. TJ Friedel, Silver Foil rookie card. Aaron Nola, Numbered Relic. Game use Relic, Dom Smith out of 100 from Big League. There's a whole bunch of Bowman Chrome cards all around. Matthew Jones, this has been the best binder by far. Oh boy, what is that? There's something in here, guys. Man, Omar, you really lucked out. That's a nice binder right there. Well, I don't have a, uh, I don't have any scissors. I just wanted, wasn't expecting having to like slice anything open here. Let's see if I can tear it open with my fingers. Hey, Art, let's see what we have in this. Wouldn't that be crazy if it was a Trout rookie card or an Otani rookie card? Trout would be more crazy, but here we go. Oh, nice. It's an Aaron Judge game used jersey card, and this is going to be numbered out of 25. Sweet card right there. So we'll put this, we'll go ahead and seal this one up for you, Omar, so that the card doesn't come out in the shipping process. But that is a sweet one right there. Aaron Judge, numbered to 25, game used jersey card right there. Very nice binder for Omar Garza. That might be the last one of the night. There's seven more binders left. Binder number 13. I might just take a sneak peek at these. Binder number 13 will be the next one sold. I'm curious what's in there. Well, there's a booklet in it. And it looks like I see a bunch of rookies and prospects in that one. I'm just try trying to see. There's a front page. Looks like I feel like a Tawny. Wow. First uh, 27 cards are all the Tawny cards in that binder. Binder 13. And binder 14... Taking a sneak peek here. Give me the second one sold. Man, there's some cosmic, more rookies, and there's one of these sneaky packs in there as well in that binder. So 
I mean, those will be the next two sold. The other ones will be uh, surprised. I, I guess I'll ask Jason May walks and those other binders off and uh, check them out. So that's all we have tonight. Those were three oh nine a piece, three hundred bucks plus ten dollars to cover shipping. If um, nobody else wants to grab them right now, we'll end this live stream right here. And then we'll see you tomorrow for Team Break Tuesday. So that is filling now on Patreon if you'd like to check it out. Hope to see you guys in the break tomorrow night. You can check out our Mystery Box Monday video if you haven't seen it yet. I uploaded it a couple hours ago. It's got some really awesome paintings from Ike's um, Art Studio. Check his website out. Nick, by the way, says, I went to the post office. The package you sent from a couple weeks ago is being sent back to me. All right, I'll keep an eye out for it. Didn't get it today. Got three packages today. It wasn't there, so Nick, I'll just uh, have to re-forward it to you. I just sent you one today to the correct address. So a little backstory there. Nick had the uh, wrong address on his PayPal payment, so it got uh, sent to the wrong place, but we got it figured out. So I'll keep an eye out for it because there's some good stuff in that package for sure. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday night, and I'll see you tomorrow for the live stream. And also, there's a card show video tomorrow, so check that out as well. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.